neighborhood of the new Hyundai Santa Cruz. There's a lot of cool and innovative stuff under here. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive MT. Real quick, if you're new here and you haven't before, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. So let's take a look under the hood of the Hyundai Santa Cruz. There is a lot of cool and innovative stuff under here. Look at all of the fluids and all that kind of stuff. You know, the stuff that you should keep an eye on every now and then. Starting on the left side, the passenger side, we've got the radiator overflow. Now, what's innovative about this? It's up here where you can actually see it, not stuffed down somewhere here in the front like a lot of other vehicles. The windshield wiper fluid right here, very easy to get to. I love, again, that they don't stick it down here somewhere where it's very awkward. Of course, we have an orange engine oil checker. This is the dipstick. Um, again, you can't miss it. It's orange, it's right in front of you. One thing I do wanna note, it appears there's a symbol right here. And to me, that means that right underneath this cover, so you would have to remove the cover, is where you would add oil if you should ever need to. Moving right along, in the back here, we have brake fluid. Again, right up here where you can see it. Kind of the same as in a lot of other vehicles. Usually it's up in the air where you can see it. And then moving over, we have the air filter. We're gonna to get to this in a minute because this is awesome. But beyond that, we have the battery and of course the fuses. Now, before I move on, I wanna point out, take a look at how the treatment of the positive end of the battery is, and then the air filter, as well as where the fuses are, because we're gonna take a quick look inside the Toyota Tacoma's engine bay. First of all, it's a lot more of a reach, not the fault of the Tacoma, it's just a bigger truck. Um, we do have the oil right here in the front, that's good. We do have the washer fluid over here, that's good. Of course, I have an aftermarket cold air intake on here, so there's really no comparing uh, the air filters, I suppose. Although the Tacoma one, the standard OEM one, is much more, it's not complicated, difficult, I guess, to access. You have to flip these clips, you have to move the whole tubing and cover, it's just a pain. Uh, moving on over here, we have the radiator overflow. Notice you can't see anything unless you start to crawl into the bay, I guess, but that's where it is. Uh, the brake fluid, as I mentioned, nice and accessible right up top. Fuse cover, fuse panel down underneath the lid, and then the battery cover or the battery itself right here, as well as where you would add engine oil. I do like this a little better. It's actually outside of the cover, so you don't have to take the cover off to put oil in. But let's face it, why should you ever have to put oil in? Now, this is what I wanted to talk about, the innovative things on the Santa Cruz. Remember what we see here in the Tacoma, the air filter, the battery, and the fuse block or the fuse panel. Going back over to the Santa Cruz, this is cool. I love this cover for the battery, the positive terminal. You just push this in, flip it up, and there you go. How much simpler can that be? You know, you don't have to screw around with this crazy boot that never fits well. These things never fit well on here, even without my added wiring and my wireless controller. They just don't fit, they never do. Hyundai has it right. This is an innovative way to cover up the positive terminal on the battery to make it easily accessible for you. Over here on the fuse block, right up here, much like the Tacoma, but it has these little push-in clasps here, if you will. Not sure if I can do this with one hand. Let's just see, I can. That just pulls right off. I like the way they have this set up. These little clasps makes it very simple. And then all below there is all your fuses and stuff. To get it back on, should be able to just push it down like so. Now, one of the most innovative things in here, which I think is just awesome, is the air filter. If you look here, it says, uh, pull out to open. So we're gonna see, I'm not sure. Actually, you just pull up, it's that simple. How much easier can that be? Look at that. I'd do it in slow motion, but that'd be kind of tacky. And then right down here, 
is the air filter. Now, I've never taken this out, so I'm not exactly sure how this works. See if I can do it with one hand, probably not. Okay, had to check a little bit myself to see how that works. What you do, there's these two little pivoting arms on each side, push those down like so. And then it says right here on the filter itself, pull. So we're gonna follow the directions. <laughs> Look how simple that is. There is your air filter. Now, how much easier can it be to change than that? Put it back in. This is the first time I've ever done this, by the way. Pull the arms back up, I'm assuming. You know what happens when you do that, right? Just like that, and then go ahead and push the lid back down, and that's it. That's all you've got to do. A much, much simpler design. Now, a couple of other things to point out, a couple of little stats for you guys. This is the 2.5 liter turbo four-cylinder, 281 horsepower. And by the way, I want to correct myself from a previous video. I did a video comparing the horsepower and some of the specs to the Toyota Tacoma, and I had stated that the Hyundai Santa Cruz had 277 horsepower. That is incorrect. It is 281, which puts it three horses ahead, not one behind, the Toyota Tacoma over there. Next, 311 pound-feet of torque. That's probably why when you hit the gas from a standstill, this thing takes off. I love that about the Santa Cruz. One big advantage that it has over the Toyota Tacoma is engine lag. For some reason, Toyota builds that into the truck. It's horrible. Sprint Booster takes care of it on the Tacoma, but why should you have to do that? Why doesn't it come out of the box like the Hyundai Santa Cruz does? Who knows? Maybe Toyota will remedy that when they come out with the fourth gen Tacoma, rumored to have a four cylinder turbo. I hope they put the same kind of engine as what we have here. I don't mean the same brand, same specs and stuff, uh, because it's awesome and the Toyota deserves that. I am a Toyota Tacoma fan, by the way. So anyway, that's just a quick look at what's under the hood of the Hyundai Santa Cruz and some of the very innovative things that they've done as far as these covers, this air filter, just to make it a bit easier for those of us that wanna do maintenance ourselves it's not as difficult to do as it is on some of the other vehicles that I've had in the past. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Have you taken a look underneath your Santa Cruz? Or maybe you don't have one. What do you think of these little innovative additions? I'd be curious to know. Also, if you didn't in the beginning, make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And quite honestly, it helps out the channel as well. I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive, all about Toyota Tacomas. And the Rob Motive JT, all about cheap gladiators. You might be able to see it out there in the bright light. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.